Hey everybody, it's your boy Zach, you already know. Um, this is a, this is one of those videos that are not, you know, easy to make. You know how people would say, like, this isn't an easy video to make or whatever. Because this is a very serious video that I need to talk to you guys about. Now, Everyone out there thinks that I'm insane. Everyone thinks that I'm a terrible person. And they're right. They are right. But I'm going to tell you why. And you guys think I feel so good about it because I'm saying it? I don't. I feel nothing but worse about what I've done to whomever I've done it to. So, I'm going to sit here and talk about every single person I've ever done damage to. And I'm going to say what I did. And, um, yeah. So the first person off the top of my head that I know that I'd like to talk about is the most important person in my life right now who is sadly not here right now, Radina Orton, aka my mother. Now you guys know that she's my, she's my adopted mother, but I consider her my biological mother because She took care of me more than my biological mother, Christine, did. And she actually wanted me around, for at least that I know of. Maybe she wanted to send me away too, but I probably deserved it because I always made her yell. I always made her cough up blood, and I always, well, I didn't always because she didn't always do it, but... When she did, I always would get her angry to the point where she yells and coughs and then starts coughing up blood. And I even blame myself all the time for the reason why she's dead. Not because I killed her, but because, like, if I wasn't in her way, mind you, I was 12 years old. And, um, I was in the way when she wobbled. I was trying to get her thing to stop wobbling, but then she told me to just step away because it's going to be fine. Or something like that. I don't know. Something like that happened. Or I saw it with my own eyes. Like I saw her fall with my own eyes. But that was hard to look at. And um, I wasn't the greatest son to her. And I tried to be. But I know that I never was. But I know she's still looking at me deep down. Loving me and supporting me and looking believe that I have success in my life but mom I just want to let you know even though you're not here you're up in heaven right now I just want to let you know I love you so fucking much I miss you so fucking much and I'd do anything in the world to see you again because you're all I have left besides my dad Jamie it's kind of about it, kind of. Family-wise, that is. Everyone else just pretty much doesn't talk to me or despises me. But the next person I'm going to talk about is the second... Well, I can't say second. This person's actually tied with my mom being number one. Um, Tay. Now, as confusing as our relationship is, when I was dating her back in 2019, when we were, when we first began Zach and Tay, I did a lot of terrible shit from breaking up with her left and right, back and forth, I meant to say, and breaking her heart every day for another woman. Well, I only broke up with her once for a female 
in 2019 that I know of. But then everything else was just because I couldn't handle being in the, uh, she couldn't handle being with me. And then the other things I did, I kissed another girl while she was at work, which I know was, were, which was worse than leaving her for another woman. And then another thing I did was replace her with my dad. Like I chose, I left her for my dad. And this was before my birthday. This was like November, I think it was like November 8th, November 7th, when I decided to go to my dad's because I was in the hospital. And, um, I just put her through the worst. And she deserves better. But for some reason, she still has that heart to just stick by me. Which I love and respect her for, but she don't deserve that. She don't deserve to be with me. She deserves to be with someone better. And I'll tell you the other reasons why. Um, so I've started fights with her for no reason at all. And when things got physical, I put my hands on her. But here's what no one knows. I was defending myself because she put her hands on me. And it was basically just an act of self-defense. And I know people out there don't like men who hit women. But like, I feel like this world should be equal. Like, I feel like it should be women can't hit men and men can't hit women. I just feel like that's fair. But, you know, who am I to talk, right? And my thing is, I... I, I told myself, I told a lot of people that I'd never hit a woman, but, you know, it happened. I think, no, I don't even think, I know, but anyways, back to everything else, I'll explain that after. And then the last terrible thing I've done to her recently was um, when she broke up with me and when she was crying and all by herself and stuff. No, actually, when she was crying and I think she said she was trying to kill herself, which she doesn't deserve. She doesn't deserve to die. Like, be hunt behind closed doors nobody knows this and nobody believes this or at least i think nobody does i don't know but i believe it deep down once you get to know her Tay's a very amazing person she's mad sweet sure she might have an attitude problem but that's just how she talks sure she gets frustrated and upset easily who doesn't sure she has some insecurities but who doesn't i'm insecure i'm insecure by my, my down there size i'm insecure about my body i'm insecure about my face i'm insecure about my head i'm insecure about a lot of things mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with being insecure and i know she went through a terrible childhood which i'm not going to get into there because that's none of your guys' business but that's neither here nor there but but back to the story. So, we got into this big fight. Our biggest fight ever, to the point where we broke up. Like, for real. For real. Like, I knew that day was coming, but... So... We verbally argued so badly that it got physical to the point where she took her phone that she had given me or she bought for me or whatever she took it back um and um I don't know what happened I guess she claims that I I kicked her and pulled her hair because she took my phone 
I don't know what happened because I blacked out. But that's all she's gonna tell me. All all she's gonna tell me is that I put my hands on her and shit. Cause the game, the game. And she also filed a police report because of that. But again, the game's the game. But. I did the most fucked up thing anyone else could do on this planet Earth. While she was upset and in the hospital and trying to kill herself. God, it's gonna be so hard to say. I had sex with another female. Now we weren't dating, me and Tay weren't dating at that time because she we had recently broken up. But it was still wrong because having sex while someone, the person you really love, is trying to kill themselves, it's not easy. Yeah, the whole time we fought, I still loved Tay. I mean, I knew, I knew from April of 2019 till now, and I still feel this way. I don't deserve Tay. Tay is better off dating some rich white person or like some famous musician or whatever. Like that's how that's how much value she brings to the world. Like she's that amazing. And I don't see why people hate on her. But Tay, if you're watching this, which you never will, no one ever watches my videos anyway. But I do love you, and I know I made it hard for you to ever love me again, or ever to love again, and I know I pretty much destroyed, not even pretty much, I know that I destroyed your life, and I can't come back from that, I can't fix that, so, I do apologize for everything I've done to you, and I'll say it every day, if I say it every day, that means I mean it. I'm not just saying it to fucking say it. That's what no one understands. People think I'm just apologizing just to make things better. No, I'm apologizing because I mean it. Because I regretted doing everything I did. They might have been decisions, but I still did them. But I still regretted them. So in a way, they can be mistakes for me. Um, Her family, excluding her sister. And excluding some of her aunts. Some of her cousins. Actually, all of her cousins. Mainly her mom and her aunt. I've disrespected them the whole time we were together. So that, and that's why, um, that's why I sent in my, um, life recreation that. I'm not going to talk to them anymore. I'm not going to talk to anyone anymore. Speaking of Redeem, I'd like to talk about the Orton family. Specifically separate people. I'm going to start with the oldest. Jody. Actually, I don't know what I've done to Jody. Or Billy. Teresa. Teresa. Okay. Um, Teresa, I I know you hate me. <laughs> but I know I, I knew for a fact that you've always hated me. Since the minute you married Justin, I knew for a fact that you've always hated me. Actually no, you've hated me since you took over for me. Since you took over for mom to take care of me and Pat. But I just want to say, I know I put you through a lot. I put you through a lot of stress. And I, I've i disrespected you a lot. And I've made you feel like no one could have me around. Like you couldn't have me around at the Shorter's house because some stuff that I've done. Or that, that they thought I'd done. Actually, this is the truth saying in the Schroeders. I know y'all hate me. And I know y'all always hate me. 
I want to apologize for my behalf for anything that I've done to ever hurt you or harm you uh, emotionally. I've never put hands on any of them. The only person I've ever put my hands on was Pat and my sister Monica, but that was when she was Chris, before she turned into Monica. That was when she that was when she was younger though, when she was a guy, but now she's a female. So if you want to be a female, be a female. I'm not gonna sit here and fucking be homophobic because you want to be a different gender. Yeah, that pretty much sums up everything. Um, Pat, Kiki, Shanice, Monica. I'm sorry that I even got adopted into the family. I'm sorry that me being the youngest was meaning the fact that this family is just destroyed because of me. And um, I know I'd never get my family back. I know I'll never get Tay back. I'll never get Tay's friends and family back. So I guess I just gotta do shit on my own now. Gotta be alone. I know I'm not even the same in my name, but to anyone else that I've ever hurt emotionally or anyone's life that I've ever destroyed, I just want to let you know I'm truly sorry. And I was, my intention was not to be that type of person. I was trying to be a good guy, but mental health got into my way. And it's not an excuse, this is a fact. But I just, now I just feel like I don't deserve to be here anymore. And, um, every day I just keep seeing it and feeling it and knowing it, how the way everyone acts around me, all awkwardly and weird. The only one that really don't act awkward around me is Tina and Toby, and my best friend Savannah, about, and Trayvon. That's about it. Everyone else is just weird and awkward towards me. But like I said again... The game's the game. Can't do nothing about it. So pretty much, <laughs> the whole world hates me. Now I know what it feels like to be the most hated person on earth. I'm not just the black sheep of the Jordan family, I'm the black sheep of the whole world. And it's gonna stay that way. Even if I become a better person, even if I begin to work better on myself, or even if I decide to do better on myself, everything's gonna be the same. No one's gonna be happy for me, no one's gonna change, no one's gonna believe, everyone's gonna say, oh, it's just an act, it's just an act to get, get us to love him. Honestly, I don't care who loves me. I don't, I mean, I care about the people who actually love me when they say they love me and not just love me because they don't want me to kill myself or love me because they feel like they have to. If you don't love me, but you feel like you have to, then don't love me. Shanice has done it. Teresa has done it. Pat and Kiki have done it. Isaiah's done it. Tay's done it. Tay's doing it right now, actually. She claims she loves me, but I know deep down in her heart she doesn't. Especially because of everything I put her through. I know no one in this world actually truly loves me. It's over for me. I don't get a second chance. I don't get a third chance. I've had my chances. And I blew them all away. I'm just a disgraceful man. I'm just a shitty person. Even though I am literally the most hated man on earth, I can start fresh. I can finally try to start living for me and not for everyone else. Obviously, if people die, I'm still gonna care. If people are sad, I'm still gonna care. This is what no one understands. 
even though I go through the shit that I go through, even the stuff that I say, the, say, the things that I feel, all of that, people don't realize that I still have a kind heart. I still have a wonderful, warm heart that still cares about people, even though if I've done some damage to people. But now I just know that the truth hurts. Don't worry, guys. I showed you before. No nicotine. I'm basically just smoking flavor. I'm just smoking flavor. Mesh coil. These ones haven't damaged my teeth that much. As the other ones have. Like the nicotine ones, they damage my teeth. And I hear that if you vape nicotine for a certain amount of time it's gonna start affecting your body and then you're gonna you know, I don't want that. I've been trying to get Tay to stop doing nicotine but it what she doesn't understand is nicotine free and nicotine is the same. They taste the same. There's the difference that there's no nicotine in this one. But anyways, yeah, things are never gonna be better for me from anyone else. But I still believe that there is some stuff I can do to better myself, you know? Yeah. So, it's been your boy Zach. I love you guys. Subscribe, like, 